after that year, please. Hi, I'm Simon, reading this letter from Poland. Well, congratulations for the song because I'm always looking for radio songs and uh, this is one of the nicest uh, things. But uh, you mentioned already your girlfriend. I mean, everybody is talking about that, uh, about uh, some materials, internet rules now in the world. Uh, this scandal. Uh, it was a scandal, by the way. Or uh, it helped you. <laughs> I knew this would come up. It wasn't a scandal made by me. It was something that was uh, something that was made very privately between me and my girlfriend, and we uh, we didn't realise at the moment that we were being recorded. Uh, and uh, if it was published by somebody, that person, of course, uh, which gave it to newspaper, sorry, and uh, obviously wanted to make some money. I don't know how much. But at the end of the day, I'm passing through it. It's, uh, it was a little bit difficult. And uh, now we are here. Hmm? And I'm still a right here, which is the main thing. Thank you. So, We're all human. Of course. So, here, here was it. Hello, uh, David. All right, nice to see you again. Nice to see you. Uh, yeah, very congratulations. Um, you made a bet uh, on New Year's wow. Eve. You said, if I win it tonight, I would run the lake out of the snow. <laughs> If I win the Eurovision this year, I will run around this year you make a promise. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so this is really uh, because you know we have after we have after the winning, we have here a big press conference. So you came here nude? No! Yes, but wait, when you, you get a win, you ran naked, you came here inside and I say welcome the winner. So Yeah! <laughs> rehearsal, multi-esque hands. And the question is, why did you move to Romania? What was the reason, main reason, brought you to Romania? Well, at the, I don't know, I'm sort of, a, I like traveling, um, and I was sort of, I was working in factories as a, as a welder, I was working on, on the bins, you know, on the garbage, and I was looking around, and I knew, I, since I was a child, I was always wanting to be an entertainer. I was I've done uh, theatrical shows and things like that, and school shows. And uh, I just always had the feeling that there's something going to be different out there than working in factories and uh, working on the, the garbage, you know. And I just started searching, started travelling, and uh, I signed up for a contract, which was a free holiday to remain. And I thought, oh, holiday, a holiday is a holiday at the end of the day. And I didn't expect something like this to come out before the end of the day came up. Uh, I've arrived. Everybody has a destiny, and I believe that this was my destiny to arrive in Romania, and, uh, and I hope to make Romania proud and uh, to do the best we can. And, to, and it was yeah, it was a pleasure to be here to them and to everything. Uh, I just hope that we, we do the best we can, do the best we can for Romania. Thank you. Uh, we were here at first, and then. Uh, maybe you were the next, please. Sure. Yeah. Hello, Uwe Steglin, Top of Music Magazine, Eurovision Club Germany. I have a question to the broadcaster, because you did combine two popular programs on TV, New Year's Eve show and the selection process. How does, why did you choose this combination? And was it, wasn't it risky to combine two popular programs to one program? You might lose some spectators in another program. And when you see it in the back way, would you do it again this way? Uh, yes, I can uh, answer. Um, I think it was a, like a kamikaze operation. <laughs> we tried to combine uh, them because uh, we want to make a huge event uh, uh, from the Eurovision Song Contest. And uh, we thought that uh, in the New Year's Eve it was the right place for the Eurovision Contest. Um, uh, it was okay, but not uh, as we expected, so I don't know if uh, our broadcaster will uh, repeat this experience. Uh, but uh, I am sure that uh, this song uh, will uh, would be uh, the first one uh, if, in any day of the year, not in the New Year's Eve, because uh, we, try, we uh, think that it's the best uh, song of, of the moment in Norway. For us, it was a pleasure to, to celebrate two times on the 10th of 
o'clock and the <laughs> one o'clock when we win. And we just want to repeat it. <laughs> Thank you. What about Ian? Hi there, um, Martin Faulkner, ECNation.com. I uh, question was for David. Um, I'm from Newcastle upon Tyne myself. Um, All right, man. So I'd have, to, I'd, I'd have to ask, um, to the best of my knowledge, I might be wrong, I'm sure someone will correct me. I think you're the first lead singer from the North East to represent any country, England or otherwise. Probably. UK or otherwise, sorry, terrible. Um, I was just wondering, uh, firstly, how the people back home, friends and family, have reacted to it in the North East, and if you think you'll be uh, representing the North East as well as Romania. Of course, I guess I represent the world. Uh, not just for me. Uh, at the end of the day, when I won, when I won the, the national final in Romania, uh, I think after a week or a few days or something, the BBC were directly in my mother's house, knocking on the door. Uh, David Bryant, one of the original in Romania, represented Romania this year, just and uh, it was my mother and my family were ecstatic. They were, uh, I was calling, oh my god, oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. And, uh, Say, how would any family be? How would it, it was a moment where everyone, obviously, they're really proud of me and what I've done, and they're actually going to be here in the stadium uh, for the final, uh, semi final, and final final. Both <laughs> let's see, that's how it goes. <laughs> no, but it'd be okay to represent the, the North East, of course. Uh, New England, where I come from, uh, is my home, and it will always be home here. And uh, I hope everybody in the North East. Uh, we'll, we'll be voting this year and uh, looking at the Eurovision and uh, to give some support to the, the North East guy. Yeah. Tell me, please. Thank you. Tell me, uh, how sad you, would you be if you be the second and you came the first? <laughs> <laughs> um, I'd be pretty sad because. <laughs> Last year I was on second place, and I was okay. End of the day, best man wins. So, you blew in, you blew in. You know, the really good guys are already huge, famous, well known. But I'd say, give the, other, give the, the little guy a chance. You know, blow are already there, man. <laughs> Leave them there. But our song is more British. No, yeah, well, their song sounds a little bit better. You know? If you know the song uh, by, what's the name? Tiny Temper and Eric, featuring Eric Turner. Written in the stars. Oh, written in the stars. It sounds a little bit like that. And the video is pretty much that same, you know? Okay, you open up now that uh, you want to sing, so sing. <laughs> I mean, what should we sing? Oh, oh wait, I'm going to show you the song, man. Uh, no, wait, wait, I have an idea. Could you sing the song from uh, where you discovered him? Well, oh, Bed of Roses. Yeah. Boy, I haven't sang that for five years. <laughs> um, just, just a few lines. I don't know. I want to start. I can't remember. Cause I don't wanna leave down in a bed of roses. For tonight I sleep on a bed of nails. I wanna be just as close as the Holy Ghost is.
So, now we have the Joey, right? Change. But, uh, do you have some questions or do we just want to hear him sing? So, you are one? Okay, your own song? Change. Thank you. 